guys, it's Talisha and before we get into the edit I made, I just want to explain to you guys who Mango is for if you don't remember or if you're a new subscriber and weren't around when Mango was. So if you guys don't know, Mango is a three-year-old Bromby mare who I was working with for my boss. If you don't know, I work at a racehorse stables as like well as going to school, obviously. He actually caught Mango in the Blue Mountains and brought her home and broke her in and that's pretty much it. So she was only just broken in, like very extremely green, so crazy green, it was insane. I've never like dealt with a horse like her before. If you watched my updates on Mango, she was sold about two, three months ago. So I got her to a stage for my boss where she could be sold. And yes, I am too tall for her, as you can tell. However, I don't weigh very much, so it's not like I'm too heavy for her or anything. I was very sad to have her go. She was such a good learning experience for me. She taught me so much and like how to deal with a, ho a gr horse that green. And she was a crazy little thing. She was so good. Um, she was a very good experience, and I love working with like green horses. And she's definitely the greenest horse I've ever ridden and trained. Um, yes, as well, but I'd like to point out about my seat. As you can tell, I am sitting really far back in the saddle. The reason is, is the saddle does not fit me. It was fitted for Mango, not me. And you know, obviously, I'd rather the ho saddle fitting the horse more than me and you know I was comfortable I was fine just look, makes my position really bad but you know what yeah so if you guys hadn't figured out already this is a progression video of um, mango the black and white clips are like the kind of before I guess and then the colored clips are like the after I guess you can look at it like that so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it <laughs> look at something right now. Think of some major goal you want or maybe it's one you're already working on and you have experienced a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. You've experienced a lot of disappointment. Maybe you've already given up and maybe you just need a little fire, a little encouragement to get back in the game again. Here's what I want you to look at. There are winners, there are losers, and there are people who have not discovered how to win. And all they need is some coaching. All they need is some help and assistance, just a little support. All they need is some insight or a different strategy or plan of action to make some adjustments that will open up the key to a whole new future for them, that will give them access to the unlimited power that they have within themselves. That's all that they need. So what I want you to do is, is think about something you want for you that's real for you that's important for you, that will give your life some special meaning and power. And I don't even want you to say, I can do that. I don't want you to assume that. See, five years ago, when I started out in this area, I would not have been able to make the mental leap that I would be up to where I am right now. I don't want you to begin to just psych yourself out. No, no. I want you to be able to say something to yourself that will enable you to maintain a level of integrity with yourself. That when you say this, even when you face tremendous setbacks, it, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game, to keep you moving forward and experimenting and readjusting your strategy and your plan of action continuously, looking for ways to win. So what is that something? 